Ooh, ooh, can you be some silver in my life? Ooh, come on. That is at least worthy of Alan Mida. That makes me happy. Ooh, is that a watch? Yeah, I checked up on it. This sign is tight. That is legit. Look at that one, Tony. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. It is I, your captain speaker. We are here. Beautiful Monday morning. Monday is another day. Monday is a great day. Start of a week, start of a day. Two things, one arrow. What do they say at two birds, one stone? Yeah, that's what I meant. We got this unit. We're gonna finish going through. We've already seen everything here. So that stuff right there, we'll call that a wrap. We're gonna go through these things. We're gonna see what's in here. There's some boxes, furniture. Hopefully there's something else hiding. We've already made our money back. This unit probably wasn't worth the profit margin because it's nasty, bed bugs, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Tweakers, things of that nature all the stuff in here we don't want to touch but we're gonna we're in the profit we're gonna keep going um get right to it let's just get right to it it looks like we're gonna hit some tools so that's always cool i like selling tools they're easy to deal with okay nice we got a nice little assortment of tools here well we shouldn't say we have a nice assortment because it can change real quick like that look at that what are those nada Nada. Let's go straight to the chopper. Get to put the chopper. And probably most of you don't even know that song. Um, this is looking like a tweaker beaker. Like a lot of stuff that's just parts. Uh, extracurricular people love parts. Um, comment below if you are extracurricular. And just kind of give... I want to know why. What What is it about this stuff? Anybody who is extracurricular, just give me a good idea. It's just so weird. It's just so ridiculous. Okay, first things first, I pop in. Let's get this. We're gonna take this out of the way because we need to make room and start loading. Oh, look, our help has arrived. And he brought boxes. Of course he's eating. This guy's always eating. He is always eating. Let's pick up this cord before we go. Anthony, what up? This place is a... Uh, Way too extracurricular for me. I couldn't store here. Some lady just ran up on me. I bought her storage, you know, like two years ago. She wanted to apologize for threatening my life or something because she thought that I kept some of the stuff from her unit, which I did and it was whatever. But that was nice. That was a nice apology. So yeah, we're gonna load this, Anthony. I've already gone through this stuff here. I'm just working. We gotta get boxes and pick it all up and put it in there. I'll let you start working on that while I... Oh, it's a perfect thing you're here because I got this thing right here. I can't film it, but if you wanna come look and I can just get your reaction. This right here, you can take. I just like your reaction. We can't show this on camera. In here, go in there. Oh yeah. Holy Yeah, look at that, see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thumbs up? Two thumbs up? All right. Another happy customer. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. They've been hounding me to get this unit out for like two or three days. I wasn't going to do it. They irked my soul a little bit. Try to tell me this unit's been here for 15 years. I think that's just something that people say nowadays. It's funny. Like, it's almost like they watch the videos and they're like, I know what to do. Hold my beer. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think this could be a little bit of money right here. This is an old cell phone, dude. This is when they used to go in your car and you'd just be like, hey. Yeah, old school. Wow, that might be a few bucks right there. Let's sit, we'll t set this aside to look it up. I think that because these have a lot of high gold in them or something, but uncertain. Cellular One Motorola phone. Let's have to, we'll have to look that up. Mbabe's TV controls. Huh, that's how you're controlling your TV, eh? Eh? You want to pack up all this stuff here on the dresser next? Oh, wait, we can work our way back this way. Jimi Hendrix experience. Well, of course, it's empty. The only cool thing on here is empty. Yeah, let's start all this stuff on top here. Oh, is this cool? Ooh, planner peanuts. Look at that. Peanuts. We're trying to keep it PG-13 and we're saying the word peanuts is like so close to an inappropriate word to begin with. Um, yeah, I don't know what that thing is worth, but I'll have to look that up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you be some silver in my life? We're gonna walk all the way out here for this one. Jumping Jehoshaphat, that would have been tight if it was. Could still be, let's see. We got Roger's Remembrance. Do you remembrance the time? When we found some silver, you remembrance the time. Yep, that's just community. They was on some a whole other level of 
extracurricularness where they just did stuff like this. Like, hey, let's just get it all wrapped up and keep it nice, you know? Community, silver plate. Not bad. And was there anything else cool on top of there? No? Usually planter stuff I've found is not exactly super valuable. It's kind of common, but I guess that is a different one. And that one seems to be 149 bucks. So I better get that back out of here before we damage it. Before you put it there? Yeah. I, I, well, because it, it just seemed like it wasn't that nice, you know? No offense to it, but I'm going to reevaluate this. We're going to set it aside and that'll end up probably on a whatnot auction or on my eBay. I don't know. Seems to be in great shape, but I, I was, I didn't think, I, at first glance, I'm thinking 20, $25, but a hundred, 150, that is something I'm willing to set aside. Now we have two over hundred dollar items. Anything, hey, make it some light on this subject here. I'm looking for secret treasures buried. Yeah, uh, it's hard to say. Nope. Um, that is kind of cool. Look at that. That Babe Ruth's baseball glove or something. The Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. That's a model. Yeah. It's a box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. 10 4. Good, buddy. All right. Um, these three things I'll keep. This can go here. These are kind of cool. Bex, yeah, it's good. Uh, it's a, oh, I mean, I'm not a big Bex fan, but yeah. I'll probably set this aside for Alameda because that is like a good $6 bill. I'm just kidding. That's more like a $20 bill. And same with this. There's people out there that drink light cold beer, believe it or not. Tastes great, less filling, man cave type stuff. Ooh, we got another one. We got a third one. They was drinking that Grenzequel, German Pilsner. It's German for beer. All right, I think that's a good $50 in stuff. I can't complain about that, that's for sure. Uh, open up that blue ice chest there. I told everybody that was the second worst thing I've ever found. You were there for the first worst thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The baby fetuses. I'm surprised we didn't end up with, like, nightmares or something from that, you know? Like... That's all, folks. Hepatitis, he says. It was a VD clinic. Yeah. Really weird stuff, guys. Uh, I don't even know where this fits in the rhyme of thing. You know what? Seriously, she's going to want this. Come on. I know she's going to want this. You guys know. Comment below if you think Jess. Type a Y for yes or an N for no if you think that Jess is going to want this. We all know she loves the flowers, the plants. I keep showing you guys that. We don't have one like this. This will be cool for Christmas time. She will set that aside. It'll, Mike, I need you to take that to the storage unit. Put it in my Christmas box. What is it? Ooh, come on. No, I did. It was not intriguing, so I just left it like that. Mm, no. Uh -uh. I'm kind of scared to be going through this one, to be honest with you. Okay. No. Well, we got a $8 dresser right there, so that's kind of cool. I like $8 dressers. We got Nada in here. Nada. Mm, clothes. At least they took the time to hang them up and put them away. That was kind of cool, right? Stuck drawer. And a little love struck monkey. Simping. Simping ain't easy. All right, that dresser's done. We already went through all that. Let's see what's in here. Oh, joy. It's the picture frame box. We got a swimsuit model. Another swimsuit model. Two Bobby. That's a little bit of tongue. And uh, I don't know what they're doing. Eating a sucker. Can't show that one. More of these Chilton magazines or car books, which are very good sale. This is money right here. eBay. Oh, yeah. They don't even, you probably can't find much of them anymore, but they're like 10, 20, 30 bucks a piece online. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and set those aside too. We got a lot of buyers for those types of things. A couple bucks there, at least $20 in books, maybe 40 right there. Maybe more, don't quote me, don't get mad if I'm wrong. Pyre, you're an idiot. You're giving all your stuff away. I'm a turn and burn type of guy. Like I've, this stuff is so common, believe it or not. It's rare and common all at the same time. I can walk around the flea market and buy Chilton's for a dollar a piece. You know, it's not that exciting in a storage unit. It's not really why you do it. But I am excited about that because it is money. It adds up. Look at this guy. It's a grill. It's a real grill. Hmm, little weird little DVD 
and VHS tapes, but not like anything good. Like, I mean, it's not bad VHS tape, but it's like really bad shape. I, I, when it comes to VHS, I want to see mint, or I'm probably not gonna deal with it. But, well, it's some of it. Come on, like you get a you get a nice horror movie, and it's sealed, and you get like a grade ten. They're like ten thousand bucks right now. What? Yeah, it's stupid. Like almost anyone, it's kind of crazy. Old ones, VHS. They're grading now, like they do cards. It's really weird. What is that? Oh, did you find a lighter? Oh, a Nintendo DS? No way. Look at that. Where'd you find this at? Find some more. Oh my god, look at that. Un Ultimate Band. I used to be in a band. <laughs> yeah, I was. I got 32 hit singles on the Billboard number ones. You? Yeah. You don't know that? Gosh, where have you been, Anthony? In reality? Yeah, under a rock. Camel. I went through the desert on a horse with no name. The Zippo, that's kind of a cool Zippo, actually. We'll probably set these aside. You guys, what do you guys think? You guys want to see a lighter lot? I don't, I don't think I've ever really done a lighter lot. No, I only see one Zippo so far, so let's see what else we pull out. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. A little bit of sterling and a little bit of silver with the, the Thunderbolt on there. Or the, the Thunderbird. A Haley Maruman. And we have Solo. Brass number six, Marlboro. All right, I guess I'll set those aside for some type of lot. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. I'm just building my good stuff here. And, yeah. Uh, it's very hot here. It is. It's, a, it's an Ikea, uh, Ikei. An Akai Graphic Easelizer Equalizer. AAA2 or something to that nature. And then we got a Sony DSS Digital Satellite Receiver. Not so Ooh, cool. There's some good stuff in here, Anthony says. Maybe. Let's see. Come on, Anthony, if you're wrong. I'm not going to talk to you for like 10 minutes. Oh, if, you're wrong. if you're right, you get 20 minutes. Oh, those might be good. Sansui. Mmm, a little bit cheesy here. What kind is that one? Okay, those aren't bad though. Sansui. I'm a classic man. Back in the days, good. S770. That's a Mitsubishi. I don't know about those. But these Sansuis, we'll take them out here in the light, get a little better look. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. A little bit of rusting and stuff, but I think I can get a couple bucks for those. We'll call those something. Let's look them up. Um, no. Look at this. Like, oh, let me look at my cards real quick. This is nuts. I'm like, going to look for, like, an overlooked $100 bill. No. I'll just call it. Go ahead and load this. I think I went through this already. Yeah. We could have a potential of a $200 speaker. This is the buy it now. Let's look at what this sold so far. This is how you guys should be looking up anything you ever buy. Don't go buying stuff without knowing what... I see a lot of people overpaying for things because they don't might not know the research process. And I don't like to see that. I like getting some money for my stuff. And I also like don't like overcharging people either. So it's a fine line we dance here. Look at this. Abraham Lincoln. And some interesting little old book, The Torch is Past. I don't know. It, oh, it's the Associated Press. So it's not that special. What else do we got here? We got some truckers. We got uh, a Buddy L. A Buddy L. That's made by Buddy L. I don't ever heard of that. Have you heard of Buddy L? Never. We got a container. We got a rock oil. We got uh, a truck. And another truck. Great. Kenworth, that's kind of tight. I've loaded a million of these probably in my life. Triple drop. See how it comes down to the bottom? That's a triple drop. When they come right here, that's the normal width or length. Another another life I used to live there. They got some Osco 500D. Do you need some Osco 500D? I don't even know what that is. A vitamin? It was on some type of medication. They got some Cetera theme. I'm always intrigued by the stuff people take because I've never heard of the medicine and it just makes me wonder what is what is going on. Okay, let's read this love note here. Okay. Hi, Diana. We are having an appraiser come by the house. He will need to come into your apartment to take measurements. Please call me so I can make the arrangements to get into your home. I prefer to have you there, but it is not necessary. Okay, that's not that. I thought that was going to be suspenseful. Personal lubricant. Oh, yeah. You need it? Nope. Freaking loaded gun. Wait a minute. Okay, I thought that was a real 9mm for a minute. I was like, no way. It's a lighter. Please don't be a tampon. Huh? Yeah. It, I don't know what it was, but at least it wasn't that. 
trying to be careful because they were into all sorts of extracurricularness. And I just... I already got stuck that one time. You did? Yeah, it was you. Oh, no. Yeah, when it was all grease and like dirty. As long as it wasn't the fetus unit, you're all right. Um, I ain't have that. Mortal Thoughts by Immortal People. We will probably relook through stuff like this at the market, but it's really not much to see here, guys. See, so yeah, like this is a different type. Like I, I bet you'll see me sometimes like talking about a gone through unit. I wouldn't call this gone through. This is a tweaker unit. This is a live-in unit. This is how these are. Like there's a fine line. I will talk about a unit that I think's gone through. Doesn't uh has Bobby? There's been some weird comments about it, like. It's like everybody's either an expert. I've been doing this twice as long as you pirate. I know everything. That's no way. You're just a complainer. Yeah, I, I spent 15 years here on YouTube complaining about all the wins I've got. I will be honest. When I win, I win. When I lose, I lose. And if a duck is a duck, it's a duck. And when they go through a unit, I'm going to talk about it. Look at that. We got Hot Wheels. We got Matchy Box. These are just kind of loose cars, but all right. I think I'm gonna give that to my buddy Steve. I told him I would save it for him, so I'm gonna get that to him. Mm. That is almost neat right there, wouldn't you say? That's cool. That is at least worthy of Alan Mida for show. And it only has one thing on it. I think that's a good $20 bill right there. That's not bad. We have already paid for our unit. This unit is already in the profit, and we're actually finding more things. So that makes me happy 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 joy joy happy happy joy joy oh oh bummer see this is like this is a, not the result of somebody coming in and taking the stuff when no one's looking this is a result of somebody just having their cars i found all these cars earlier um just weird though just weird like i all these are a mystery every storage unit's a mystery that's the fun part about it. We need to hold off on the furniture probably, and we'll get all this loose stuff up top. Ooh, it's an infantry man. Look at that. You want to be an infantry man, Tony? No. Come on. Yeah. You, it's your turn. This is weird. It's all sorts of air disc brakes, maintenance. That might be a few bucks too, a Bendix truck manual. Never found one of those. We got some NASCAR, fast car NASCAR. Then we got bumper to bumper. So it's just a lot of uh, books here. Some of them are pretty neat. Special Forces, I like that one. Soldier's Manual of Common Tasks. Wow, we can learn to be Special Forces. Oh yeah. Then we have U.S. Army Survival Manual. Okay, that's a little bit of cool stuff right there. I'm digging those. Oh, wow. A rent me sign. A Texaco, maybe cool sign, and then this sign is tight. That is legit. Look at that one, Tony. Oh that is actually real. I don't know where Highway 280 is, but that was something somebody actually stole. That is good. I like that. That might be a few bucks. What do you think that's worth? Two. Two bucks. And this one is kind of different too. It's just, it's like a, I don't know, that's kind of cool. Rent me. I used to have one of those above my bed when I was younger, when I lived in my grandma's house. Things could be good. Yeah. It could be a lot I lived in my grandma's garage and I had a big U-Haul sign on my bed that said, rent me. Rent me? Yeah. I've always had a very unique sense of humor. It's just, some people can't handle it. Some people understand it's just jokes. And what is this, like the world's largest VCR? That is actually not bad. There you go, Anthony. You need this for your, your movies. Oh, yeah, huh? That's actually, if you were to list on the internet, that is really probably like 100 bucks. Okay. Craziest thing is VCR players are one of the hottest things to sell right now. What? Remember that unit you helped me with? Remember out in Vallejo and I found the coins and the guy was into the adult movies and then I had all of the VCRs? Yeah. I sold a couple of those things for 350 bucks that were unopened. Because uh, how else are you going to watch a VHS tape? How, but in today's technology you can't just you have to have the that's why the older things become valuable again and so right now i told you the vhs craze is hot and then they want would you rather have a used one that's going to break down and ruin your your four thousand dollar vhs tape 
I think it's I think the world designs us this way. You think about video games, right? What if you play a video game and in the video game, all you're doing is building collections. You're getting changeable outfits and you're getting a little trophy and awards. It's like they program us for this crap. So people buy these things and I don't you really think people are sitting at home watching their four thousand dollar VHS tape? It's like a it's like an investment or something, you know? I don't I don't understand it. I'm confused. I also don't collect nothing, so I don't understand that. No, never asked one since I was a kid. Somebody stole all our stuff. I've never started collecting again. I would fill that up some more. This one. What, what happens? We stole your stuff. Yeah, somebody took our whole entire storage unit in the middle of the day. Well, it wasn't the middle of the day. We just we moved. They forged a note. They forged a note saying my dad gave them permission to move our stuff for us, and then the guy took our whole ten by thirty back to his home where the rest of our stuff was, and he had a big garage sale. Ah. It was so sold. I lost everything. I was 15 years old. Our whole life disappeared. Uh, because I'm not, uh, A, my dad is probably just about as passive as I am. So it's like, what are you going to do? Uh, he did go knocking door to door with a nine millimeter for a day. And he managed to retrieve a very rare stereo cabinet that a friend who passed away made. And he retrieved my baby book and my sister's baby book. Everything else gone. What the guy didn't sell went in a bonfire. Yeah. So for that reason, I don't collect nothing no more. I don't really collect, I guess, no, to be honest with you. You know what, you know what my version of collecting is at this point? Uh, Jess collects things, Michaela collects, like all the, all, everybody in my house collects things. So it's, for me, it's more fun just out hunting, obtaining the things that they're collecting, you know? That's good. Like Jess likes the Disney and Eviana likes Pokemon. So does Michaela and Michael and Anaya. Anaya likes Harry Potter and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff and Pokemon. Evie likes, is this, they all have these different things. Michael's Dragon Ball Z. Is it looking like expensive right now? Good? It's, it's coming down. Everything's falling again. They, 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 they uh, pushed that to the peak, sold off, and now us little people are thinking it's the thing and we're getting into it and it's slowly falling off. Next year it'll be all worthless again for two decades, like everything is. And then when you least expect it and everybody's sold out of it, it'll pop back up again. When is the point of leaving these open? Like, what were you guys thinking? You just left it open for us? That is freaking disgusting. <clears throat> okay. That is kind of neat right there. Almost uh, modern Danish. Some candles, some books, some remote controls, nobody went through that one. So we're about winding it down on this unit guys. I'm gonna come in here. Is that a watch? Yeah, I checked up on it. Shucks, that's a broken Movado. Is it Movado? Yeah, see? Oh, okay. A real one? I don't know. It says Movado on the inside. We just about got this done here. Anthony's gonna sweep that up. Boom shakalaka, wrap that up. That unit's a wrap. Not the best unit. We got a little bit of a few hundred bucks and stuff in there. We got a couple hundred bucks and stuff just right here. This stuff will end up at home, etc., etc. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Those are personal. Leave all the personal in there. Pirates, we're back at home. I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. If you remember, we had some jackpot flea market shopping days. And Jess bought those large vases. Well, this is what they look like now. Remember, they were like a brown. I'll try to put a little photo right here. Neat, huh? And as well, if you remember correctly, we had those red lanterns, right? We paid 12 bucks for the pair. and got a good deal in there, red. And this is what they look like now. All black. No more red. And we got the second one done, too. So that was kind of cool. I like that. Still red when you go inside, but that's not important. So we got the outside is black. I just messed it up, Jess. I can't close it. I broke it. She's going to hate me. Nope, I fixed it. We're good. Beautiful. I like it. You know, it's funny because we used to actually have the SpongeBob, and that kind of reminds me of a pineapple under the sea a little bit, doesn't it? If you, like, just envision it being like that. And here's the third one. This one's a half and half. That's pretty nice. I like what you did with that. So much better than that weird off purple one. It's like a bowling pin. Oh, gold. Nice. 